Hello guys, I am back welcoming you all with this. Let that sink in guys. The most incredible GT63 I've seen. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the GT800 by Brabus. Presented by Holman International, one of the biggest car showrooms in Germany with the craziest cars. It's unbelievable, just look at this. Today's video, we will be doing a walk around showing you all the exterior features afterwards, jump inside for an interior view. And last but not least, finish it all off with some sound check for you and in resume. So let's talk about this car in specific. Here we have the GT800. It's based on the GT63S by AMG, uh, which normally has 639 brake horsepower, but Brabus pushed it to 800 horsepower and 1000 Newton meters of torque, guys. It's unbelievable. This car is also painted in designer graphite gray Magno. It's a stock Mercedes AMG color. Um, but we have a lot of additional Brabus parts, such as the rims, the front, the rear. I'm going to show you all in this video. So let's start with the walk around showing you the front of this GT800. Look at this. Wow. Wow, just wow. Let's start it off with the headlights. As you know, the GT specific front headlights, the multi beam ones with the GT specific shape really looking nice these are stock mercedes ones as most of you didn't know they also have carbon fiber details in the headlights which i really love then we have the brabos front grille which is finished in full black like there's no chrome or else on this car it's just black with the brabos 3d logo on the front where we normally have the star the front camera the brabos b badge where we normally have the star and the brabos emblem also on the grille the power domes on the bonnet which looks super nice with the magno matte finish here continuing the front we have wow look at this like filming it right now it feels so unreal we have the front bumper and the intakes as you see we have some additional carbon parts all finished by brabos in bottrop as you see here, this is an extra barbus part, this also, and the front skirt as well. As you see, it also has a Brabus emblem on, and it looks absolutely crazy. The Holman International front number plate, essential. How do you guys like the front of this beast? It's unbelievable. Also, we have like additional stripes, two stripes which are finished like a golden tone, golden bronze tone which we'll find all over the car afterwards. Now, let me show you the side of this monster. Love this, especially the paintwork of that graphite gray Magno is one of the most beautiful colors I know. So let's continue to walk around with the side view plus the rims. Here we have the same rims we had on the G-Class, the Platinum Edition Monoblock, which are just 21 inches big thought they were bigger with the Brabos engraved the Brabos emblem the Brabos carbon ceramic brake system which is also finished in the same color as we had with the front these are like a golden touch then we have the bi turbo 800 badge from Brabos also finished golden bronze tone which I really love the side mirrors in carbon fiber and all the parts here we have like contrast the almost black matte looking body of this car plus the black gloss parts which look really nice especially here full tint and the frames all finished in black the door handles also finished in black then we have the rear wheels here we have the platinum monoblock edition z wheels again but these are 22 inches which are bigger than the front wheels basically the carbon ceramic brakes also finished in a golden tone the brabus engraved the brabus b i really love these and now let me show you something you don't want to miss out look at this wow look you just get distracted by a six by six or a v12 pole man guys this is unbelievable you have to go and check out holman international and their fleet it's just unbelievable um, let's continue with the walk around and the rear before i get lost here <laughs> here we have the gt800 made by Brabos. wow honestly like honestly 
I would prefer the stock exhaust system by Mercedes, like the shape, not the sound. The shape of the tailpipes look better when they are like the stock ones, but the Brabus ones are like kind of too small for the whole proportions of the rear. I wish they were kind of bigger, but all in all, really love these finished in black and the carbon fiber. As you see, the diffuser is also made by Brabus, all finished in carbon fiber. Then you see this, the size we have like, it's kind of like, a, it's a step. Like you have the carbon and the black, then you have the, the exhaust tips. As you see, we have the stock GT63S rear spoiler. I wish Brabus had finished that in carbon or did another one, a new one, which would have been really cool. Then we have the Brabus badge here, also finished the golden bronze tone. The Brabus B and the 800 badge here. We have the tail lights, the GT63 specific ones. Look slick and fit so perfectly. Also on the sides here with the carbon additional parts, which make the car look even wider than it basically is. All in all, this car is a 10 out of 10, definitely. How do you guys like it? I can't wait to read your comments in the comment section below. This is unbelievable, honestly. Now, before we step inside, let me show you the key of this beautiful GD800. As you see, the normal Mercedes AMG key for, but on the rear, we have the Brabus B high performance automotive which looks really nice so now it's time to step inside the gt800 and it's time to show you the interior but before we step in let me show you the door panels as you see it's like a full dark finish on that car also on the interior here we have the black leather trim with the gray stitching then we have the gray pearl leather all over the door panels also with the carbon fiber part here and the Bormester speaker cover which looks absolutely nice then we have the Brabus entrance board which is illuminated uh, you can switch colors on that also the Brabus floor mats Brabus foot pedals and now it's time to step in so now we are inside the GT800 we also have the GT63S animation there's nothing else. Let me also turn on the ignition. You see, we have the AMG animation. I wish they would have like switched it to Bravo's animation or something like that to give it a more cooler look. Let's uh, continue here with the interior. There's nothing like there have been no big changes in the interior. It's kind of stock here. As you see, the steering wheel is full, kind of finished in Dynamica Alcantara trim. But we have this additional Bravo's part finished in uh, like a leather trim. Then we have the steering wheel buttons as well. The 12 o'clock trim, also in white plus gray stitching all over the interior. Uh, really looking nice. Then we have the interior full finished in carbon fiber trim. The gloss parts. I wish Mercedes had finished that in black or in wooden. Like I don't like this aluminum kind of look here. Then we have the touchpad, the Erfalterbach AMG. I wish they also put a Brabus badge on that one. Uh, but all in all, very nice and beautiful interior. As you see, we have the steam wheel buttons, which we know from the other models. Let me just turn them on. You see, we can change driving modes here. Race, Sport Plus, Sport, Comfort, Individual and Slippery. You can also change the driving modes and else also on the buttons on the center console, as you see here. But uh, it's much cooler, to, uh, like while driving, to do it on the steering wheel instantly as if you were tapping on uh, the buttons on the center console, but still very nice. We don't have uh, the, the gear changing knob on, uh, like behind the steering wheel. We have it over here, like changing the gear here. It's, it's much better than the one behind the steering wheel. This is much cooler and gives this car a more luxurious touch. All in all, beautiful displays, no MBOX, unfortunately. Um, all finished in leather trim plus carbon fiber. Then we have these beautiful seats, as you see with the Brabus B, the Brabus emblem, like a dark finish here with the dark gray and um, black leather. As you see here, this is gray pearl. Then we have the Alcantara Dynamica kind of look, like a gray stitching all over the seats. Uh, the outside and the inside is like very dark tone. I wish they had done a red finish in the interior. It would have been very nice. All in all, gorgeous car. As you see, we have the panorama roof. 
and yeah that's that's been everything you have to know about this interior uh, let's now start up the car from the inside and afterwards we will go outside and demonstrate you the sound from the gt800 so the car switched into sport plus you cannot see the dynamics the suspension and now let's start it all off with a emotion start you know hold one pedal and start the car while foot is on a brake Let's step out and let me demonstrate you the sound from the outside and how it sounds. Wow, did you just hear that? that's what I'm talking about the sound of Bravo's cars is just insane and it sounds much better than the stock one honestly uh, all in all the only thing I don't like about this car are the exhaust tips I wish they were like the stock ones a little bit bigger these remind me of the A45 and the A25 from Bravo's they don't really fit and suit to the overall proportion but still really look nice so now it's time to finish all off with the resume so that's it basically for today's video i hope you all enjoyed as much as we did again um, all in all i have to say this is one of the most brutal four doors i've seen in my whole life the best spec ones and the brabus additional parts make this car look even even more aggressive almost looking like a bad mobile how do you guys like it how did you guys like the exterior all the additional parts the rear and the sound comment down below can't wait to read all of your comments go also and check out my instagram post uh, regarding this car all in all huge thanks again to holman international for this possibility uh, go and check them out if you want to see more of these cars they have literally every single hype and supercar just go and have a look looking forward to read your comments and to see you all again wish you all a great day i will be back